Hi, I'm Christine Fox with Volpe Beauty, and welcome back to our part three of our Kim Kardashian inspired makeover. And I'm here with Marissa Martinez. And we've, as you can see, we've completed almost her full face and her eyes. What we've got to do is do some eyebrows, add those full luscious lashes that Kim has, and then we'll go on from there. All right, so what we are going to do is we're going to use our Lustrify High Definition Mascara. Excellent. If you could tilt your head back for me and then just do a halfway look. A little open a little bit more. And I like to comb it down first. Let's see, it's a brand new container, so it's a little sticky. Okay. And the trick for a false eyelash look is to drag that, drag those lashes straight into the inner corner of the eye. And with our motives, Lustrify, it will literally pop them. Make them stand up, give a more defined look. Now, before our segment, I went ahead and curled her lashes, and that helps her a little bit get that more fuller, thicker look. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's beautiful. And tilt back a little bit more one more time. I'm going to go ahead and do your bottom lashes. Just don't pull your eyebrows. You definitely don't want to pull your eyelashes all the way up right now, so keep, keep your half look going. I like to comb them on if they're long enough. If they're not, just brush them back and forth. Okay, let's move to the other eye. We'll have to clean that up a little bit as well. Okay, do a halfway look for me. Start combing down. Actually, tilt towards me a little bit. There you go, thank you. All right, and I'm going to brush up and then bring that right in. I don't know if you guys could see that with my arm in the way there. Bring it right into that inner corner. And once you do, pop them back up and separate them out. Let's see. And then what I could do is come back now and fill them. Now, if you're going to do a false eyelash with this look, you could start out doing the eyelashes first. Apply your false lashes. Sometimes you have to put on mascara, sometimes you don't. Put your head back, we're gonna do your under your eye. Oops. There we go. And what I do is I keep a spoolie which is just these things that you can get at any beauty supply shop. And then I'm able to look up for me a little bit. Separate them exactly how I want them. Perfect. Our next step we're going to use is our Motives eyebrow kit. And that's going to be, it consists of a wax and also two different shades. And you're just going to build whatever color your eyebrows are. So she's got darker brows. What I'm going to do is first put it into my wax and then just do a little bit into my darker shade. Tilt for me over here. And I'm going to fill in her outer corner of her eyes, of her brows. And she's already got a great shape to them. She does eyebrow threading. And they're nice and full to begin with, but you could always have a fuller, more defined look. And most women have the outer corners that just need filling, and then take that remainder and go ahead in and have it spread over into the other. You don't even have to reapply. Doing a rounded, almost, type of a motion. And then I'm gonna take that up there and fill in just a little bit. Let's step back, let me take a look at that. Perfect. That's wonderful. Okay, um, I do see that I've got, I'm going to take one of our crease brushes here. Look up for me. Just got a little bit of smudge I smudged on you. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and contour her cheeks. And what I'm using is, a, we, have a, we have a bronzer, but the bronzer I have has a little bit of t um, shimmer in it. So what I want to use is our cappuccino, which is more of like a flat brown. And we're going to go ahead, and I'm going to use our eye contour brush, actually. Tap it off, tilt towards me this way, and I'm just going to follow along here. And it looks a little exaggerated right now, and that's okay. Tilt back over. OK. 
Okay, I'm gonna use some more on this one. Tilt it up. And then I'm gonna also take some of under her chin, right here, and a little bit down her nose, down the sides of her nose, and then up on the forehead right there. Okay, tilt over. I'm gonna blend it a little bit. But I'm gonna do more of my blending when we put on our blush. Okay. And now for blush, we're using Lust, and you can get these all at ModusPro.com. This is more of a pink shade, and I'm actually using our blush brush. Same way, we're back and forth, never jabbing it in. Okay, patting it off, tilt towards me here. And I'm putting on her apples of her cheeks. And then I'm blending it in a little bit. Not really streaking it, but more blending it. Okay. Apples of the cheeks again, a little smile there. Great. All right, let's see. All right, so now if you, look, if you notice, we still have it a little bit. Can you tilt all the way for, there you go. We still have a little bit showing here. So what I'm going to do is actually put a little bit more blush on. And I'm going to take a kabuki brush that we have, and I'm going to blend it all out. Okay, give it more. We still want that definition. We just don't want it too pronounced. Okay, look down for me, and then tilt over. Perfect. And then the last step I'm really going to do without touching cheeks again, right there on those apples. And we're gonna leave them there, perfect. The next step we're gonna go to in finishing her face is we chose a lip liner for her and we're using neutral. I like a lip liner not so defined because when I choose it and look at the lip, I just don't know where I'm gonna go with it. Sometimes it goes straight across, which we're probably gonna do with her lips. And it gives it a more fuller look. Open a little bit wider for me. Okay. And it work in stages. I'm gonna do right down here, open it a little taunter. That, there you go. And then connect them. We did the center, and now we're connecting the outsides in. Okay, what I also do is fill it in a little bit to give it some color in case you're at a party and you forget to put on lip liner. Recheck it. Perfect. We're going to add our lipstick. We don't even have to do it all the way full. And we've got a complete face. One last touch I could do is spray her with our No Shine Spray in case she's going out to a party. That's going to tighten her face up, give her a more luminous look without glossy feeling. And we're going to put just a pout in the center with a little bit of tinted moisturizer. And there you go. Thanks so much for staying with us for our Kim Kardashian-inspired look.